Welcome back everyone. I'm Jason and you're watching Jason Jensen Trains. Well, I have a quick video for you today. We're going to be painting some figures for the sci-fi layout. Now the techniques that I'm going to show you is basically the same technique that can be used when painting anything at any scale. We're first going to start with a gray primer. We're then going to paint our mid-tone basically the main color of the object. Uh, we're then going to put on a shadow color or just a darker shade and then we're going to put on a highlight. That simple. All right, well, let's get to it. So I recently found this on Amazon for $20. It's great. $10 a figure. Now, I'm going to do some modifications to the figures, um, add some more details, maybe even add some wires to them. Um, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Well, as you can see, they're out of the package. And what I've started to do is take my knife and add some battle damage. So hopefully you can see that. Just uh, carving in some large cuts, cracks. All right. And I'm really anxious to get a uh, primer sprayed on this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I was applying super glue and baking soda to give it texture uh, for where, where I'm going to put the rust. So when I put rust on there, that texture will look like it's sort of corroding. All right, let's start to get our main color on here. And for our main color, we're using Thicket by Americana. I put some on my palette and then added a bunch of water to it. So it's kind of a wash. Next, we're using Burnt Sienna. And again, it's from Americana. So I'm going to do his entire headpiece and his two shoulder pieces. And you don't want to try to cover it all at once. Give it a thin coat and then let it dry and go back over it again. We have most of our base colors on it. Next, we're going to use a filter from ammo dark blue and we're going to airbrush it and we're just going to create some shadows Now we're going to use a wash. Starship filth. Well, Starship wash. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I've been doing a lot of painting. Hours of painting, actually. Uh, and I'll go over the colors with you, but right now I want to show you that I took a sponge with bittersweet chocolate and went over all the areas where we put the um, baking soda. 
Then I completely let that dry. And then I'm making a wash of a lot of water and burnt sienna. And now I'm just simply going over those areas. Let me zoom in for you. For those of you wondering about the size, uh, here are some 3.75 inch Star Wars action figures by it. Let me take the camera off and give you a closer look. Well, as you can see, I have a primer on our next figure. Now, the back side's not really going to show, but you could take some putty and fill the holes if you wanted to. I'm not going to. <laughs> and the primer I use is this. Okay, for this one, it's going to mostly be red. We're going to do a lot of red armor, um, but you can see some cloth um, at the top of the pants that, um, or the top of the legs, I'm sorry. Uh, we'll do that black. Uh, we'll do some brown leather, uh, maybe some black around the neck. Um, I think black gloves. All right, let's start getting some base colors put on it first. Then we'll come back and we'll airbrush some value and then start to do some highlights and some rust. Well, the first base coat of red is done. Now, anyone who's painted with red before knows that it's very difficult. Um, it's hard not to get brush strokes and it's hard to get a good coverage. So, um, I went very slow and just made sure to brush in one direction trying to make it as smooth as possible um, now acrylics dry pretty fast but i'm going to give this just a little bit longer to dry and then i'm going to do a wash of red over the whole thing and hopefully that eliminates any little brush strokes that are on there and i'm going to take my red which is um it's a chalk paint, and I use chalk paint because it's super dull. There's no shine at all on chalk paint. I'm going to take marine blue, which is a shader from ammo. Probably five drops. Probably five more. <laughs> <laughs> more water. Um, it's very thin very thin okay now I'm gonna brush over all of the red again okay the base colors are all done I did gunmetal gray on the arms on both sides I was going to paint the uh, raised area the gunmetal but then um, I thought it would look too much like the original Power Ranger so I just decided to leave it red I think I'll let that dry really good and I think I'm going to put a yellow base color on our 
stormtrooper. So I've gotten a little bit of work done on this stormtrooper. I first sprayed him with a gray primer. Then I sprayed him with a yellow. It's kind of a light yellow. And this figure is kind of a, it's not completely plastic it's kind of a rubbery material i'm not sure what it is i'm sure somebody watching can tell me what material it's made out of um but the problem was that it was tacky like it just felt like it would never dry um so what i did i've ran into this problem before um i did a wash uh this was light rust from ammo I did a lot of water I just did a, a wash over it then I let that completely dry then I took pigment sand and brushed over it and went kind of heavy at first and then just kept brushing it away until most of it was gone and now it's not sticky at all so that's uh, that's what I did. Um, now uh, I'm going to add rust to this figure and then go in and paint all the areas um, where there's like cloth material or I don't know, maybe it's rubber. I'll paint that black. The first thing I'm going to do is add some rust. And I have a tiny sponge. I find that if you use tweezers, you tend to be more delicate rather than just grabbing the sponge with your fingers and dabbing it on. So I went over the edges with a wash of burnt sienna. You can see it's just around the edges. And now I'm painting all the black and I add water to the black I don't use it straight out of the bottle I thin it a little bit with water makes it easier to brush on so you'll see I just dip my brush in the paint put it on my palette and then I dip the brush quick in water tap it and just mix it after I painted everything black um, I added a lot of water and did a wash over like his boots and around his hands just to add some dirt you know another thing we could do to our stormtrooper figure is dry brush a little bit of light metal over some of the edges okay I think that's good boy I don't know if you can see that on the camera but in person it really gives it a metal look Now we can move on to our big figure. Okay, we're going to do some airbrushing on this. And I'm going to start with violet and put a shadow sort of on the red area. Then after that dries, we'll come back with a little bit of French blue. And these are both filters. What's great about filters is that it doesn't cover the red. It just tint it. Okay, we're going to start with violet. Okay, now we'll switch to French blue. So after I did the burnt orange, I slowly started adding light rust, which is just a, a yellowish orange color. 
and then slowly building up the highlights. Okay, been doing some more highlighting and I think I'm done. Now, if you go too far with the highlighting, here's a great trick. Take your original red color, put a little bit on your palette and a lot of water and then watch on the head. And you can see it just tones it down. Okay, so I added some accents with gunmetal gray. And then after the gunmetal gray dried, I did some dry brushing with light metal over the gunmetal. Now I'm using pure white. It's called Snow Titanium White. Very, very little of this. Okay, that's it. Oh, I need to add some dirt. Maybe a little rust. So we'll get our sponge. Maybe get a new sponge. Back to our bittersweet chocolate. Okay, let's start at the bottom and work our way up. And the bottom's going to be pretty, pretty dirty. Now you want to be careful not to overdo it. This has been kind of a long project painting all these figures. And so you have a tendency on a long project to kind of rush towards the end. So really force yourself to slow down or walk away from it and take a break for a while. Okay, that looks good. You don't want to do too much. Maybe a little bit on the helmet, just a little bit. Now, let's take Burnt Sienna. And we're going to do a wash, just like we did on this. You can see on his feet. A lot of water. Well, I didn't add any extra detail parts to the figures or even add any wires like I had mentioned at the beginning of the video, but I am happy with how they turned out. Um, this is a pretty simple two-day project. You know, let's take these out to the sci-fi layout and see what they look like.
It's so exciting seeing them on the layout. Now, eventually every ship, every figure, every single toy on this layout will be hand painted. Um, this is a very big ongoing project. All right, well, thank you all so much for watching and a huge thank you to all of my Patreons. All right, well, until next time, stay motivated and happy modeling, everyone.